Alright, brothers, this is Special Energy's Brother Wisdom. How are you guys doing? Hope you can hear me. I'm not talking too loud. I got family members sleeping right now. Um, okay, we're going to go through this really quick. Um, these are three crystals here that um, are very powerful crystals. Alright, and they have um, a lot of energy. Okay. So let's go to the first one, which is the emerald. This is the emerald. Alright, it's pure emerald crystal. So what happens is that plasma, as it's coming down, you know, we've seen all different types of lightning. We've seen green lightning, we've seen pink lightning, we've seen red lightning. But the plasma, as it comes down, It comes down um, where this green, which is krypton gas, the krypton gas, comes with the krypton gas, um, is like abundant, and that plasma hits the ground. So like I said, the plasma in the sky wants to reach the core of the planet, which is pure plasma. Okay? That's how the core of the planet is, is pure plasma. Right, all types of energy that's including the center of the planet which they say is hollow you have a hollow center of the planet but then there's a core under the center all right there's a core all right so the krypton gas comes down i mean it's it's in the atmosphere i'm sorry and the plasma energy comes down and it hits the ground it goes into the dirt remember we talked about that before we said that plasma which they call a lightning bolt all right it connects with the ground all right the zero point energy connecting to itself and it um hits into the ground and therefore you have what they call emerald this is emerald, all right? Pure plasma energy with krypton gas trapped inside of it. Krypton gas has a um, zero point charge. All right, emeralds are very powerful. I actually picked this up from um, Michaels. All right, emerald gas has a zero point charge. All right, very powerful. And because of the zero point charge, the plasma is also zero point charge. All right, you can, um, there's a lot of energy that's crea created with emeralds. I'm going to collect me some more of this here. Very, very powerful crystals. All right, um, let's see what's next. We have uh, rose quartz, rose quartz. All right, oh, and that's that's what I want to say when that, um, gas is in the atmosphere and the plasma energy which is abundant plasma energy doesn't care where it charges itself up that gas that krypton gas turns green all right we have multiple gases they have the noble gases and they have the extremely high gas we're going to get into that all right um and krypton is known as a noble gas which we're going to discuss noble gases and what noble really means very soon um but when krypton when the krypton gas is charged up with plasma energy all right this is not extremely high charge but it's a high charge um it turns green and therefore you have the green color there all right okay let's see here oh, we have like i said we have the rose quartz rose quartz which is pink all right um the pink is nitrogen gas so when nitrogen gas is in the atmosphere like we say there goes um we have the plasma energy you know plasma charges up within itself and it wants to discharge so what it does it hits the ground but then there's nitrogen that's in the atmosphere and you can find crystals anywhere deep on the ground you know almost anywhere deep on the ground you find crystals where lightning bolts have hit all right and 
therefore you have what's called rose quartz. All right, rose uh, nitrogen gas has a negative three charge. All right, and a negative three charge means that is it's a if it's, it's a feminine energy. All right, it's literally a feminine energy. So what happens is. It has a negative three charge, it's that feminine energy, but it doesn't, um, the, the negative three doesn't cancel out the zero point charge. Right? The zero point charge is still there from the plasma energy. The negative, that, that powerful feminine energy is there. It's a negative three charge, that's all. All right, it's got a three times the amount of feminine energy than other crystals. All right. Now the last one we're going to do in this session right here. This is so a short session. This is carnelian. All right, carnelian is a orangey red color crystal, which is neon gas. Powerful, powerful crystal, powerful um, gas. All right. So when um, like we said, the plasma is in the, in the atmosphere and it charges up the neon because the plasma is, wants to discharge it after it gets so much energy within itself. It has to discharge and then it pow, hits the ground. And you may see that red, reddish orange lightning bolt, which is plasma. It hits the ground and as it hits the ground, the neon gas is trapped inside of the plasma. Right. Neon has a zero point charge. Like we say, when that plasma gas, when that plasma energy charges itself up, duck discharges. All right. And the neon is in the atmosphere. It turns to a reddish orange color. And this is um, carnelian. All right. This is carnelian. It's that reddish orange color comes from um, um, like we said in the neon gas that's in the atmosphere when the plasma discharges so you got to remember that when you're dealing with these crystals you got to remember what we said we said these crystals they're underground and because the ground is pure plasma also deep underground because these lightning bolts go deep into the ground they're trying to reach the core of the planet and as it's as it discharges all right, itself, that crystal forms is plasma energy and neon gas. I mean, I'm sorry, plasma is an energy and krypton gas, all right? Or you got plasma energy and neon gas, or you got plasma energy and nitrogen gas, all right? And what happens is, as the energy goes by, we're not talking about time. Because time means nothing. All right, that time that it took to hit the ground was most important. That's you know, it took took so it was so quick that you can't even count it in seconds. All right, and over a period of certain energy cycles, this plasma energy that's got neon trapped in it. It's got the krypton trapped in it. It's got the nitrogen trapped in it. It reproduces itself. And it becomes bigger. And it becomes bigger. And it becomes bigger. And there have been like huge chunks of these crystals uh, found. Location, Chromatic okay. Islands region, class, light, magnitude, 4.5, 9 minutes ago. So we're talking about calendar if you want to talk about calendar um, days, these crystals have been sitting there for years. But a certain energy cycles, because each energy cycle, you got to remember when we say each day, all right, what happens each day, which is a paradigm. There are certain frequencies, and frequencies rise, and as the frequencies rise, what happens? It feeds these crystals, and these crystals become bigger and bigger and bigger. They grow as the as the as the, as the um, the days go by or what's each paradigm and each period each month is around so the, the paradigms however many paradigms we go through to get into a realm 
these crystals grow and they grow and they grow. And they're all over the planet. Okay, and that's they can be anywhere. All right. So um, this is just a quick lesson for the day on um, natural energy, and we're gonna go through some more. But um, we're gonna talk about. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna tell you, but we're gonna go through some more stuff. Okay, guys. So. Um, catch you guys a little later, you know, and as usual, all power to the multi-chakra celestial angelic beings that make chaos ring with you forever and ever. Let's power to you all.